Welcome to E10. Simple yet powerful. E10 Smart Learning for CBSC student. Fully 2D 3D animated video lessons. Concept study material to reinforce learning. Download and use offline. Some natural phenomena. Today we are going to discuss two major destructive natural phenomena. These are lightning and earthquake. Most lightning happens inside the cloud, but sometimes it happens between the cloud and the ground. A buildup of positive charge builds up on the ground beneath the cloud, attracted to the negative charge in the bottom of the cloud. In order to move charge, we need charge carriers. The charge of electrons and protons is important because it provides us the means to exert a force on them which is electrostatic force electrostatic force is a force that operates between charges it states that charges of the same type repel each other while charges of opposite types are attracted together opposites attract and likes repel Turn on your faucet. Only let a very thin stream of water to flow. It needs to be a smooth stream, not one that breaks up. Take a plastic comb and rub it through your hair. Then hold your comb close to but not touching a small stream of water coming from the faucet. Negative charges are attracted towards the positively charged glass rod and this negative charge gets concentrated to the metal disc the leaves acquire positive charge because glass rod repels the positive charge of the metal disc lightning conductors were originally developed by benjamin franklin it is designed to protect buildings from the damage that can possibly strike a lightning rod is very simple. It's a pointed metal rod attached to the roof of a building. The rod might be an inch or two centimeter in diameter. It connects to a huge piece of copper or aluminum wire that's also an inch or so in diameter. The wire is connected to a conductive grid buried in the ground nearby. It is important to understand the Earth's makeup to help understand earthquakes better. The Earth consists of four main layers inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. The lithosphere is divided into several large and small plates of rocks called the tectonic plate. These tectonic plates keep moving and sliding and result in disasters like earthquakes. This movement of plates results in earthquakes, volcanic eruption, mountain formation, etc. Scientists use seismic waves to measure how big an earthquake is. They use a device called seismograph to measure the size of the waves. The size of the waves is called the magnitude. To explore more content for conceptual clarity, give a missed call on 7043-722-733 and get a link to download now. E10 Simple yet powerful. To know more, call on 7096 722 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7 7